Hi folks out there. So um, this here will be a, what is a short review of the uh, Caveco piston converter that uh, I think Caveco just sent uh, sent out a newsletter recently in which they they announced the availability of the of the piston converter that they have presented at the last uh, Paper World in Frankfurt. And uh, I think the 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 piston converter for the for the Caveco sports pens is something that the fountain pen community has been looking forward to uh, for quite a while now because uh, for now there was only the squeeze converter which was a proper fit for um, for those fountain pens here for the for the sports series and uh, yeah so um, so let's have a look at that here um, so what has been available so far was the uh, like a squeeze converter which you like essentially press together like that and this is how you get how you get uh, ink into the into the into the converter and like I'll, I'll compare both converters on how they perform and how they feel and and so forth and uh, this is the new this is the new um, piston converter that they have it's like a push piston it's a uh, metal screw here and like you basically just yeah how does it work should be able to just pull it out yeah like that exactly so you just pull it out like this and uh, that's how you're gonna fill the fountain pen um, according to Caveco the, the converter doesn't take that much ink it takes like a little bit less than a standard international cartridge um, let me compare it like this is a bit shorter than a standard international cartridge. I don't know if you can see that very well here. Maybe it's better like that. So standard international cartridges take about 0.75 milliliters of ink. Uh, so I think that one should take about half a milliliter, probably something like that. Not really a lot, but should be okay. So um, I have a Kaweco uh, Ice Sport here with me in orange is a pen I also recently got that I, I, I've just converted that to a to an eyedropper basically using uh, using Edelstein Mandarin which uh, is one of my favorite orange inks because like it has a really nice color and also really shades very well um, so I've recently converted uh, that orange uh, eye sport here into an eyedropper um, I wrote it dry now um, so this is why I wanted to now the, the, try the converters and uh, also the the eyedropper conversion has worked really well i'll have a review of that pen coming up on the blog soon and uh, i'll include the the, uh, the eyedropper conversion i'll show the eye, eyedropper conversion within that um, upcoming blog post then um, maybe we can have a look at before we fill the pen or try the different filling mechanisms we can have a look at uh, other converters, like one of the most common converters is the, almost more well known is the Lamy converter, um, which is a screw piston, working essentially like this here. Um, so when you compare those two, compare those two again, um, you actually see that uh, uh, the, uh, the Caveco a piston converter, push piston doesn't really contain or will not really hold that much ink, but anyway, uh, it's at least a step forward because before you could basically only use um, cartridges and refill those with a syringe or something like that if you if you wanted to use bottle ink. So let's see how how those two converters here work. Um, I'll try the the push converter first by inserting the converter into the fountain pen into the nib unit just clicks in like that uh, and then I'll submerge the nib into the ink and uh, keep pressing and see what happens yeah as one already sees it's not working all too well which is probably why many people in the fountain pen community sort of like hated those 
this squeeze converter a little bit. I mean, it feels, it does feel, uh, depending on the pressure that you apply onto the squeeze converter, it feels like halfway or three quarters or something like that, probably two thirds. So, I mean, as you see, I mean, you'll get ink into it. And I mean, I don't know, it's, it's, it's probably the amount that you would really get into this, that you will probably really get into this squeeze uh, uh, push piston here as well. I think, I mean, like, I mean, when it comes to how much ink it holds, the difference actually shouldn't be too, too big. Yeah, I mean, like, I get it filled until this probably, like, not much more. So let's remove the ink and see how the, the other converter performs. So the pen is now empty. And I remove the converter, uh, squeeze converter, which is like, yeah, it works, but it's probably not the, the nicest thing on the planet. So we now use the piston converter which is now inside the pen inside a nib unit and Caveco always recommends as you normally do with all fountain pens to to always fill the pen through the nib unit and feed because um, yeah the feed will then already be primed which is which is what you normally want to have so let's see how that works submit uh, submerge nib and feed and pull the converter out. So yeah, it's now filled. I'll do it once again. Remove the ink, put it in and I mean, I'd say that works like a lot better. Like it really fills, it really fills up almost full yeah so that's it nice thing works